Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the for each loop. Now if you remember from the previous tutorials, we created an application that printed out all the elements in an array. Now we're going to go ahead and open up that same project. So we'll go ahead and find arrays right here. And wait for it to open okay so here is our project we have our button add array and what it does is it uses a normal for loop to go through and add all of the items to the array and each one of those items is has been set a value and our uh, array has been declared uh, private and up outside of all the subs so that we can use it in every single sub in here um, and we've got a clear list I and mean, we've got a sort array which will sh uh, sort our string classes and then add it using a normal for loop and then we've got a reverse so let's go ahead and create a for each loop now using a for each loop you don't have to know how long your array is or whatever you're using and it will automatically go through every single item in it so we'll go ahead and delete this right here and we're going to type for to say that we're going to do a for loop but instead of a normal for loop we're going to do for each and now what we're going to do is we're going to type item which is going to be the name so let's say for num1 equals 1 item is going to be the equivalent of our num1 now we're going to specify a data type for this and now since string classes holds a bunch of strings we're going to have to use a string so for each item as string so for each one of these strings in here in string classes go ahead and do whatever is inside this for each loop so it's going to go um, web design Spanish chemistry English history and calculus and item is going to be equal to that for each iteration of the loop so the first one is equal to web design the next one is equal to Spanish now if you remember from the previous for loop we used the index and not the actual string so now what we can do is we can type list arrays dot items dot add and we're going to add item so now if we go ahead and run this you can see that here's our form with our list arrays our add array elements sort, sort array and reverse array we'll go ahead and click on that and you can see that adds each one of those in there now we can go ahead and do this for the rest of our subs so we can go ahead and type for each we can do a different name we can name this whatever I want whatever we want so we can even do X for each X as string in string classes go ahead and do list arrays dot items dot add and for our arguments we're just going to add X now we can do this one more time for this for loop right here so for each and let's just do um, string class as string in string classes go ahead and do list arrays dot items dot add and we'll go ahead and add string class so if we run this everything should work fine we shouldn't get any errors we can add array elements, we can sort the array, we can reverse the array, and we can go ahead and add them again and then reverse that. So I'm um, go ahead, play around for each loops. Um, you can use it for more than arrays. Um, so once you've got those uh, down and you know how to do them and you can make them and you're not going to forget, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching.